Just paint it black with a metallic black. No, it's a really thin metallic black. It requires a primer background. Yay, more hours. Well, I'm working on it, but as you can see in the camera, it's pretty light. It's gonna take a couple coats. This darn can feels half empty already. That was the first time freaking using this thing. So uh, that's black, but uh, that's just not right. Still waiting between coats to move it. And there we go, half a day, and it's painted black again. So, so much for the metallic special edition, but uh, I had to cover up all this sanding and all this crap. And I don't know, you can see like that doesn't look the best, but. Gonna have the lights up there and maybe something else to cover that up, but oh well. This side you'll see that there is no air cleaner. There might be something bolted here, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it's done and uh, gonna put it back together. But not gonna do that right now because I spent the whole day between painting and clear coating this thing, and now the day is over. So I gotta get everything all packed up, back out in the grumpy, and we're gonna head it home again. <sighs> Half hour to do that, so uh, 20 minutes, 22 minutes left to do that. And finally, the day is slowing down. <laughs> oh, jeez, I've had uh, 200 and some people through today. Fun times. Alrighty, so I left off yesterday. I decided to stick the air cleaner on. It's only going to be on this side because, uh, well, it's been filled in and I don't know. I haven't decided what to do with it yet. So now that the cab has been primed and painted and clear coated, now I'm going to start. I'm going to put all the stuff back in the grill, the lights, and the uh, the windows. Uh, I'm going to think I'm going to tint those out. Some black paint on the back side of them. And um, put the grill back in, headlights, get all the chrome stuff on here and everything. Hopefully I got enough nuts for it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do out of that box from Joe for the bag there. So and then uh, after we get that done, we'll know uh, what we got to start doing to get stuff mounted in there. Well, uh, if it didn't say case on there, I think uh, Mr. Bill's T-Max visited me, but it, it's a case, not a deer. So anyhow, um, just working here in my truck. Now there's a slight disappointment to this. As you notice, it's only the sound unit, speaker, and the controller, and that's it. Unfortunately, my light kit is dead. I don't know, looks like it was working. Uh, there was some LEDs missing, not a big thing, but uh, still when I flip the switches on this board here, this red LED should come on and the headlights should light up and stuff. And I had everything plugged in and just nothing would happen. So I don't know what's wrong with it and I don't have time to mess around with it before the show. So it's been cut. I'm going to try to shove that into the back of the uh, truck here and then I'm just going to make it, make a mount for it or something. And uh, got it so it's all going to fit over top. The cab's going to fit over top here. And the battery's going to slide in that back door down here and then that's going to hold it. So lost one part but uh, gained another I guess. Anyhow, uh, I'll work on the cap some more. I got all the screws together to put all the lights in and I was holding off on it. But well, time to put them in I guess. And from the looks of this, time to put the camera on the charger. 16 seconds left. Well, it's some time later here. Uh, the visor has just been freshly glued on, so I'm hoping it's sticking soon. So the mirrors are on, my lights are, well, lights are on, and everything like that. And I have my truck organized, 
So I just gotta wait for that to dry and then I can start putting this thing together. And apparently my camera did not charge. Fun times. And there we go, first look at her kinda done. Everything was doing good uh, until stacks wouldn't go on. The uh, part that goes underneath here, gems in the box on this side, and on this side, hits into there. So, I guess I'm going to have to trim those, but it's the end of the day, so I can't do it today. So much for my idea of shoving the battery pack in the cab. I don't know if you can see it, it's so friggin' bright here right now. But there's no room. It just kind of sits there and focus. <laughs> friggin' iris. Alright, well, plan B is to build a rock or something to sit here. That's what it's going to have to sit on. I ran a 24 inch extension to the back so I have control for dump for when I get that going. I was going to do a drive around video and stuff, but right now it's not cooperating with me, so that won't happen today. But it's almost time to go, so I got to pack everything up and head home. So that's it for today. We'll continue this tomorrow. Alrighty, so it's the next day. I decided that the stacks need to go back on. So you can see you kind of bent it down and around a bit here. And uh, <laughs> you can tell by that, I used the lighter to here to kind of light it up. But now, it goes down around the steps and into the back. But the other side, I had to get a little more creative. I actually had to chop out of the top and well you can see I put these side by side. Hope this is done drying by now. So there we go. See I had to chop some out of there and I chop some out of there. And it's gonna tuck under there nicely. So now I gotta take the cab off again and put the stacks back on. Not a big deal I guess. And then uh Still got to figure out the battery.